Hey guys, it's me, Michael Gibbons, and you guys remember about how, um, they were planning on making a Bumblebee movie, specifically on Bumblebee, as I think a prequel, I think, a prequel reboot, I'm not sure if I'm wrong, correct me on that, but basically, the last Transformers movies have been really bad, like really, 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 really bad, and... I guess they're going to try and make a fresh start with a new Bumblebee movie. And a trailer came out, and, well, I'm not even going to talk anymore. Let's just get on on it. And, but one thing I must say is that the CGI looks a little different than the last Transformers movies. I think it's because it's being uh, created by a different person. Or a different cast or something. I don't know. But let's just skin it on it. And we'll figure it out later. But it still is in real life though. Something looks different. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Still talk through a radio. Autobot sign. Oh, oh, that's. can help you say what you're feeling. Try this. God, Jesus, man. Ah, oh, God. Dang it. If there's one thing that the Transformers were good at is was drilling you in with their trailers. I don't know if this is different. It looks... Ugh. I don't know. God, Jesus, man. It looks good. I like Bumblebee. He's my favorite character. Right after Optimus Prime. God, so he's gonna be like the only Autobot in that whole... It looks like there's another Decepticon that looks kind of like Starscream. I don't know, but with the Autobots and Decepticons, like... Optimus Prime's arch nemesis was Megatron, and it seemed like Bumblebee's was Starscream, considering how both Optimus and Megatron were the leaders of both their sides, and Starscream and Bumblebee were like the second in command. So it makes sense as to why they would be arch nemesis. Says, says, you know what I mean. Um. It looks good. I really like his design. It's it's cool, but simple at the same time. It's like also it's it's his original form from the and then he ends up being with Sam Whitwicky. <laughs> so this happens. 
this must have happened before, obviously, when, um, so, I don't know how this really connects with the first Transformers movie. Now I have to look back on that, because the way that one started, Sam Witwicky went to go get a, a car, and he switched into the, into a different car for some reason. Maybe it was because to get chosen. But I wonder why did he... So why did he leave the girl? And obviously this was before everybody knew about the Transformers. So obviously there can't be this huge, huge battle. Because, you know, then it'll draw too much attention. And I think the military has to keep it secret then. But then... Yeah... I don't know. Answers will come to play when we see the movie, which will be coming out in on December 25th. But it looks good. I mean, it looks good. I, I can't say anything about it. Bumblebee is just... I just hope they don't screw this up like they done with the past other Transformers movies, man. I I, I don't know. It's, it's too soon to say... How it's going to play. Or how it's going to be. All I can do is hope. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time. Uh, peace.